All right, hi, I'm Rio. I'm a part of RI3D at Penn State, and I'm going to talk about this arm mechanism that we designed. So the goal for this arm was that we could both intake off the ground and then swing the arm across our robot and score into the amp. So the pivot is placed right here, and it was designed in such a way that we can get the right angle to intake from the ground and both get the height and angle to score into the amp. So it is driven by two NEOs right here that are each geared down 36 to 1 using max planetary gearboxes. And then we get another 4 to 1 reduction ratio from these belts that we used. Now, ideally, these would be sprockets and chains instead of belts and pulleys because this does skip every once in a while. Um, when you're moving a heavy load like this, you want to use chain instead of a belt. Uh, we just didn't have the parts to do that. So if you're building your own, we recommend using chain. Uh, we also designed hard stops for the arm, so at this lower side, when it's intaking, it rests on these hard stops right here. Um, and then when it's up, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, it rests on this hex shaft right here, like so. So that makes sure we get the right angle every time without having to rely on the encoders on the motors. Um, our also, our initial hope was that we'd be able to score in the trap as well with this arm when we were prototyping it yesterday. So when the arm is straight up and down and we're climbed all the way up, um, we were hoping to reach that, but um, we weren't able to get there. The trap is, is a very hard challenge, so I'm excited to see how teams do that, um, but we're not sure that you'll be able to do it with just a rotating arm that doesn't have some sort of linear extension built into it as well. Uh, and the last thing to note is that when you have an arm like this, you end up with a really high center of gravity. So keep this, keep it as light as possible. Um, every pound up here counts, because when you're driving around with a heavy arm like this, the robot gets tippy, not to mention you're gonna need really strong motors the heavier this gets. So yeah, this is our arm. To see it in action, check out our reveal video. Thanks for watching.